Hiya. Um, just back from my um, Kundalini yoga class. I'm feeling so strong and inspired and amazing. And just wanted to talk a little bit about um, what we talked about at the end of class. Um, it's lovely. My teacher Louise is just crazy amazing and so wise. And uh, I love to learn from her. Um, and she talked about um, strengthening the solar plex chakra. So you have um, all these inner meridians of energy just bubbling away and circling away around you internally. Um, and if we strengthen them all, we're going to um, make ourselves feel better. So mind, body, spirit, make ourselves feel better. Um, so today we did about the solar plexus. Um, the solar plexus are all to do with courage. So this is like your gut, your gut instinct. Um, and we did some amazing um, kundalini practice to strengthen the solar plex. Um, it's really hard because what I love about kundalini yoga as well is the things that you find hard physically, like the exercises, the practice that you find difficult physically, usually relate to what's going on in your head. So, um, you know, if you're not feeling strong um, in your head and in how you are dealing with life, you're going to find the, the um, exercises to strengthen the solar plex harder, which, you know, makes a lot of sense. Um, so actually, I, I felt like I did really well. But what Louise always talks about is not letting your ego get in the way. So if you are doing these exercises and you're thinking, am I breathing right? Am I doing enough? Am I doing this quick enough or slow enough? Um, that's your ego taking over when actually all you need to be concentrating on is how your body's feeling and how your body's caring for you and how amazing your body is doing, doing this. So whatever level you're doing it at is perfect for you. Um, and I love that because one of my big problems in life is that I don't want to let anybody down. So if, um, you know, I've said I'll do something, if I don't do it, I then sit there worrying about it that those people think I don't care. And that's really sort of one of my worst fears. Um, so that's why I generally, if I really want to do something, I tell everybody about it. I make it into a challenge. You know, that's what I've been doing with, with my walking challenge or my yoga challenges that I do. I've realised that's because of my own courage. And it's a way of me making sure that I follow through with something and don't let people down. So I saw something um, just on Instagram a minute ago that I've posted actually onto my Instagram that says, you know, care enough about yourself and your own personal growth that you easily dare to say no to people and you have the courage to say yes to things that you want to do. So another thing is I will um, think, oh, what have I got to do today? Oh, I've got a really busy day. I've got to walk the dogs. I've got to put some washing on. I've got to hang some washing out. I've got to change the beds. Um, I've got someone coming for a massage at 12. I've got to take Sebby to swimming. I've already got so much in my day, but then someone will ring me and say, can you do this for me? Can you, can I pop over and, and I will do everything in my power to say yes, to make that happen. When actually I need to actually just say, I'm ever so sorry, um, but no, I haven't got that time in my day today, but I could maybe do it tomorrow or something like that. I don't know. You know, this is something that I um, am really, really pushing myself on to have the courage in myself to say no to people and for them not to, and for, to not to feel as if then they're going to be angry with me or disappointed with me. Um, I've got friends who I know have no problem doing this and I really respect them for it. So I don't really know why I can't respect myself for it, if you know what I mean. Um, so I think this goes back to our balance and like our chakras and how well our chakras are aligning and yeah, I really, really want to do that. I want to be able to say no more 
so that I can say yes to more things that I want to do. I know that I'm on a good track with it because I've recently cut back on um, a side of my body shop work that I wasn't particularly getting much satisfaction out of. Um, and that's taken up a lot of, given me a lot more free time, um, which is brilliant because, uh, you know, the reason I wanted to cut back on that side of the business was because there were so many other things that I was really, really interested in and really, really wanted to pursue and learn more about. So, um, you know, my, the essential oils and I wanted to do more massage for people and I want to do my yoga teacher training. So that was a really, really, really hard thing to do. And when I spoke to my manager about it, I didn't even dare call her. And I love her. We're lovely. We're gorgeous. We're good friends. And I didn't even dare call her. I sort of sent her a, like, uh, a messenger sort of to give her the, the lowdown on it. And then we got together after that and it was all fine. Um, but it, it is, it's about my courage. So I am uh, really going to work on my solar plexus. And what I find interesting about the chakras is that it's changing all the time. So I always thought I had an issue with being grounded and my root chakra. And I've always said it to my friends, having the um, fight or flight thing. So if something gets bad, I move away from it. Um rather than standing up to it and um you know and I think that's why you know we've moved house so many times um so you know it's all really really interesting to me really interesting and it's one of those things where I want time in my life to learn more about it and understand it and to improve and grow my own strength and courage within myself um so yeah, I think it's a really important thing. And I just said to, to my girls, uh, we've got a little messenger group. It's just like Zamo said, isn't it? A grain chill. Just say no. You don't have to act like a great big star. Just be yourself. That's who you are. Uh, so, um, yeah. So if anybody else feels similar or has any tips, anything that's worked for them, anything that just made them go, yeah, that's blown my mind that's changed things. I would love to hear them. Um, and if you want to find out any more about anything that I talk about, please do subscribe to the channel. Comment below. I'd love to read your comments. Um, but yeah, it's just out there. It's out there to the universe. That's how I'm feeling. And um, I'll speak to you next time. Bye.